We would like to thank your sponsor of the Coaches Cell, University of Arkansas at Rich Mountain, where you can continue your education right here in Paul County. We also like to thank Mina Insurance, go to see PT, Planket, and all other folks for you auto, home, and life insurance needs. As well as Union Bank of Mina Hometown, baking at his best. Good evening, everyone. We are back with another Coach's Show. I'm Jem. I'm here with Coach Bentley. Well, how's it going, Coach? Yeah, I'm good. How are you? Good. Thank you so much. So I have, again, questions about the last week's game and this upcoming Waldron game. So first of all, how do you feel about the overall game, last week's game? Uh, great win. Yeah, I mean, great win. Get to 6-0. and and um, Ozark's a really tough place to go and play and especially win. So uh, to go down there, get a win uh, on their field, uh, had to fight through some adversity uh, on the way there and just really proud of our football team for going out and getting that win. And, um, you know, that's a win uh, that can also push you forward a little bit more. So excited to be where we are and happy for our guys for sure. Of course, Coach. For the second, second one, uh, what did we do, like the key things that we did in offense and defense to let us do that? When. Right. So, you know, um, you know, we had a little bit of struggle, struggle early on. We played from behind for the first time all year. Um, and so, um, you know, it wasn't the first bit of adversity we faced all year, but it was the first time we've had to play from behind and, and find ways to win. So, um, you know, for us, we have a lot of people contributing offensively for us um, across the board. Um, you know, so that's one thing offensively right now for us is that we can get the ball on any number of people people's hands and they're going to make plays uh, defensively play really really well as a unit um, you know we've said all year that as a defense we can't give up a big play well um, you know their their touchdown <clears throat> one of their big touchdowns was was off of a big run their first touchdown we made them earn it we can live with those uh, but the touchdowns they earn off of a big play um, you know is something that we can't can't afford so uh, by the time of the second half we got adjusted we had some alignment issues in the first half too defensively that we got fixed up and shored up and and uh, defense did really well in the second half containing the quarterback Back and making plays there and then um, you know we came away in the second half with an onside kick special teams was big for us again we gave up that kickoff return um, that was that was a, a mistake on my end we, I mean we weren't trying to kick to him we we're trying to kick it in the end zone didn't quite make it and um, but other than that again special teams was huge for us we recovered our Haida Hernandez recovered his own onside kick and then kicked that 51 yard field goal kind of set the tone for the second half so yeah, you know, coming out of out of you know to where you're you're down pretty much the whole kind of first half of the game, and then they had that big kickoff return and getting that big momentum, and then we answer that with a kickoff return and then score on the two point conversion to tie it. We had all the momentum going into half, and then we carried that into the second half to win the game. Yeah, thank you, coach. And last one, how does it feel after like a tough away game, stay undefeated? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's something that um, just doesn't happen very often at, at very many schools. Um, you know, it's something special, and uh, I think every you know we we all have to remind ourselves to to appreciate the journey, um, and because it doesn't come around very often. I've been a coach 17 years, head coach in nine years, and I think this is the uh, third time a team that I've been a part of has been has been six and zero or better. So, um, you know, it's something that doesn't happen very often, and and to be where we are and, and leading the conference and, and playing really significant football at this time of the year is super super cool and important for our kids, and it's something that they'll always remember. It's something our community. Will remember too again uh, you know being being undefeated this late in the season is, is really really hard to do no matter who you're playing what you're doing we played some good football teams too mm -hmm. so um, it's been a, it's been a good 6-0 and and something something that um, you know we will uh, uh, remember as they get older our community will remember too but, but we're not done we got we, we, we plan to get a lot more accomplished as, as the weeks come yeah thank you coach so we're to, if we want to talk about the, this week's game uh, against um, Waldron, uh, how, what, was your, what was your expectations about the Waldron game? Yeah, Waldron, Mina, it's always been a rivalry. I mean, if, you know, a lot's been made about, you know, um, you know, the, the, the streak that we have against Waldron and, and how many years we've won. But there's been some close games in the last five years. You know, um, you know when our seniors were sophomores several years ago, they had the lead at halftime on us, and we came back, and those those sophomores kind of put the game on their back and, and got the win for us. And so now they're, they're seniors going into it. it it's, it's similar to when we played Ozark. Um, you know, when, when those seniors were sophomores, 
uh, they they played a, went to Ozark and played in a playoff game and it and it did not go well for us and then so they were excited to get to Ozark and play that game and kind of redeem themselves and and so we want that to be the same with with Walden. Walden's got a, a a good football team this year. They had a huge win against Ozark a few weeks back. Um, they got good size. I think they're really well coached. Um, they're physical. Um, you know, that's something that's set them apart this year, too, is they're a physical football team. So we know they're going to come in here uh, fired up and ready to play. They always are against us. Um, they're going to come throwing their best punches, and we have to answer that. We have to set a tone for ourselves early and, and, uh, and, and, and be consistent in everything that we're doing in all three phases. Absolutely, Coach. So what should we do different, like considering the last game, to win this game? Yeah, I think, again, I think the start needs to be good for us. We need to come out with all cylinders fi firing and uh, uh, set the tone, uh, you know, in offense, defense, special teams, whatever whatever we're doing, we got to come out and set the tone from the very beginning that we're here and we're here to win this football game. Um, you know, so consistency is key for us um, going into the game. I think, that, I think that's the biggest thing. Of course, it's homecoming week for us, yeah. so we've got um, all kinds of distractions going on and stuff, and, and I'm definitely not one of those that is against homecoming. I think homecoming is great for these kids. They, we, we ask so much out of them physically, mentally, that I mean, we want to enjoy homecoming. It's fun, and they get to do a lot of different things, but it does present a few different distractions and things like that. So we have to turn our focus to Waldron and and understand that you know you can't you can't be you can't be seven zero you can't be four zero in conference without going through Walden first you can't be a conference champion um, you know without going through Walden first so uh, I think consistency and understanding the important of the importance of the game is huge. Yeah, coach. For the last one, you stayed on the topic. I was up to ask about the homecoming week's effect yeah. on the game. Yeah. So, how did it affect you guys? Uh, thank you so much. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a busy week. So, how did it affect the team about the motivation and stuff? Yeah, I mean, it's they're definitely motivated. I mean, because we know it's going to be a great crowd. Mina always has great crowds. I mean, whether you win, lose, whatever, it doesn't matter. We have good crowds. But when you're really a good football team like we are this year. Uh, we're going to have an amazing crowd on Friday, and and we talked about that a little bit in our practice. That you know you're going to come out. It's going to be homecoming. You have class reunions going on. Of course, you've got extra extra family members there uh, for the homecoming court, and then. You have people coming to games this year that maybe haven't in the past because they want to see the Bearcats. You know, they're winning football games and a good football team. And so when you come out and you see well, the way we walk onto our field, we see that whole side. We see the home side, the fence and everything. And that should be inspiring to us. We talked about that being inspiring to us. That should be intimidating to our opponent when they come out and they see, man, Mina has a great crowd here. We've, we don't see that very many people for a football game usually. And so we appreciate that. We know that. And of course, like I said, homecoming's busy, right? You had the parade and the float and all that. The good thing is for us, it doesn't affect us much in our daily work because we do most of our practices in the morning. So mm -hmm. we're here early and, and we go through first period in practice. So we get a lot of our football stuff done uh, before school. We, we love that. We love the fact that we get to get in here and get all our practice done, you know, mo before most people are waking up, and um, and then and then they get to go be a kid the rest of the high school kid the rest of the day, and we'll wake up and do it the next morning. So, yeah, it's it's definitely something that you got to be aware of. Mm -hmm. All right, you got to be focused in that and understand the challenge to overcome. But we want them to enjoy homecoming week. That's part of being a high school kid, especially a high school football player. Again, thank you for your comments, Coach. Uh, so t don't forget to support us in the homecoming week against Waldron. Go Bearcats! Go Bearcats! Again, we would like to thank our sponsors of today, so University of Arkansas, Rich Mountain, Mina Insurance, and Union Bank.